All right, so I uh, finished putting the um, honey conditioner on my leather. Went, pr I think so far it went pretty well. So I'm supposed to wait a while and then like buff it with that this brush. Like, I think it, I hope it's horsehair. It says it's supposed to be horsehair, according to this. There's this really cute YouTube channel. Ah. Uh, I, I'm not well dressed enough to subscribe, but it's 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 for um, well dressed people like how to you know maintain their wardrobe and stuff. And this dude is like dressed like early '60s chic, and he, it's so cute. But um, like kind of like kind of Mad Men, you know. Uh, but I, I I don't know. Maybe I'll subscribe. But I really appreciated him going over um, how to condition. Um, leather um leather briefcase it was a nice reminder i had seen before i think i'd even done it before for like already made leather things that i have but i is it's been a while um my shoes that i used to wear to work all the time could use some some of that uh honey leather conditioner love or some of this clear polish love but and, and i think i'm gonna put the um or I guess it's called neutral shoe polish on the, the side here because I think I have beeswax, but um, probably with my sewing stuff somewhere. But since I know where this shoe polish is, that's what I'm going to do. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I, it's hard to see in the lighting, but I don't really see streaks. Okay, that's the main part that you're going to see. Let me go. I should go in order. Here's the second main part. That will be visible on my so this I mean there's some streaks happening with this piece but oh well it just uh, just has character it's kind of indigo on one side and violet on the other but um, I'm all right with that and the straps and this is like where the zipper will go and these are like these little things that'll be around the handle strap so yeah my next step is buffing adding the beeswax to the side um and then i'm gonna actually follow uh uh diesel punk's video on hand sewing it and i will hand sew it and hopefully not mess up all right yay Thanks for anyone who followed me um, in this journey. And um, I, if anyone else was having similar problems to me, I, I hope my video was helpful. Some, I, I think it's worth mentioning in all the comments uh, when I reached out in a Facebook group about leather, um, someone had said, oh, when you apply the sealer, that bronzing look will go away. It's from an oversaturation of the dye. And I, I think it was um, because it, it happened again even after I removed the uh, sealer and, and a little bit of the dye, not all that much came out, which was fine. It was mostly about just removing the sealer. Then I added more and I, was, I thought, oh no, it, it kind of looks oversaturated again. I realized the airbrush was not behaving the way it was the first time I used it um so yeah then I applied the sealer and it didn't look as like brown or bronzy anymore and now I've applied the conditioner and hopefully my cat doesn't get fur all over it <laughs> and maybe I'll have a cool purse maybe someone will be like I like your purse and I'll say thanks I made it but it wasn't my pattern and I had a lot of help from friends on the internet. All right. Bye.